full disclosure, I just got done editing, filming, uploading my last video, probably a few hours ago, and picked up one of my cameras and I got another weird bout of inspiration that I'm going to capitalize on. Because basically, I mean, I sit around, you know, I research about cameras, I buy cameras, I yada yada, do all this stuff, and I don't actually make videos, so I just basically want to prove to myself that way I can actually literally do all this stuff that I like to sit around for fucking hours and theorize about. So. We're gonna get some breakfast, we're gonna get some bagels and get unnecessarily cinematic with it. And probably after this video, you guys are probably not gonna see from me for like two, three, four, probably like a year. So, enjoy. <laughs> What'd you get? Hold on. Take two. What is it? Um. You got fucking pancakes again? Yeah, and a muffin. I got a muffin when I walked Anthony, in. have you seen your blood pressure? Yeah, it's better than yours a little bit. I don't think so. Okay, considering my your, your my body fat versus yours. Your systolic was 141. All right, yours was the exact same. We both tested 141. I just finished the set. You were sitting on the couch for five hours mm -hmm. on TikTok. <laughs> oh, that's why your blood pressure was high. You were TikToking. Yeah. Oh. I saw the little girls got the blood flow going around. Oh. Wow, that sounds really bad. <laughs> that sounds so bad. See, in Anthony's household, his parents were wise enough to block the popular website Pornhub and all its sub pornographic websites, so Anthony has to resort to TikTok. That's why blood pressure was high, pal. This is a standard breakfast meal, but little do you guys may or may not know, we actually ate breakfast today at around 10 p.m. Then we worked out. Now it's like 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m., and we're having breakfast part two. They didn't give us napkins. You need a napkin? You want to get him? Please. I'm, I'm going on battleground right now. If I leave my car. Go ahead. Hey. Um. Wow, it's going down real slow. I didn't get a drink. Yeah, crumble them up. Anything resembling a paper towel is a rare commodity nowadays. I have to take it when they weren't looking. Mm. I wonder why these are so soggy. Oh yeah, we ordered them an hour ago. Bagels are wrap. So, back to what I was saying in the beginning of the video about getting this thing of inspiration to basically make another video. So as you guys know, I get very, very, very excited over cameras. I own a lot of cameras. I like to research into a lot of cameras. And I can make videos just how you guys could and everyone else could using their smartphones, right? The regular camera on their smartphone. And everyone would be happy. I can make videos. You guys can make videos. We could all watch. Everything would be fine, right? But for me, because I really, really, really like cameras, I have a higher standard in terms of video quality, right? So instead of being a normal person and just picking up one of them and clicking record, I like to massively, massively overthink it, compare and contrast, the, 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 all these random specs and the color science and, the, and all this stuff, right? That's pretty much irrelevant to the final product of the video. But every time I get like a new camera or like a new lens, I get excited and I make a video. So where this excitement came from wasn't from a new camera, it was a camera that I already owned. So if you're getting into YouTube, right, if you're getting into vlogging, a lot of people have like extremely successful channels that just vlog on their phone, because like I said, it's adequate, it's perfectly fine. Then a step up from that is basically like a one inch sensor point and shoot camera that could fit in your pocket. And out of those two, you basically have the Canon G7X and the Sony RX100. Then a step higher than that, you get into your DSLRs, your APS-C, your full frame, yada yada, etc. keeps going up and for vlogging, a point and shoot camera is ideal because it literally could fit in your pocket. So, like I said, Sony has one. I mean, Canon has one. Sony has one. Canon has great colors, looks beautiful. Resolution shit, focus is atrocious. Sony, insanely high resolution. Uh, I mean, like 4K, it's not insanely high. Focus is great. Colors, eh, right? So, somewhere in the middle would be the ideal camera. And I keep fluctuating between the two. And long story short, this is being filmed on my Sony, and I found a little tweak 
picture profile that actually makes it look really similar to Canon. It's really good. And what that basically is is picture profile two, slightly customized, color phase increase one to three, saturation increase three. And the key, 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 most important part is set the white balance to white, white, like white priority, right? Not just regular white balance. Basically, what that'll do is regardless of the ambience or the color Kelvin temperature of the given setting, it's gonna fucking override and just make it look white. Then all your colors. Jesus, camera's a piece of shit. Wanna go to rock bottom? Say hi to James, see if he's still alive. Yeah. James, if you had to temporarily adapt the persona of Morpheus from the Matrix and the Oracle from the Matrix, what would your prophecy on the COVID-19 be in the next few weeks? Um, it'll fizzle. Yeah? Yeah. All right. James, in the top right-hand corner of my phone, can you see what it says? iTunes Store. Right next to my battery in the top right hand corner. 51%? No, right below that. It's your death count. Yes, that tells me how many people in the United States have died of corona. James, two days ago, it was about 2,500, now it's about 4,000. Yes. No, no, it's, it's specifically due to the coronavirus. Yes. That's scary, I don't like that. Okay. Well, maybe you shouldn't have brought it back from China. This apocalypse shit's getting serious. Can't get closer than six feet to each other, so I'm risking my life for some sweet potatoes right now, so they better be in stock. Yeah, you can't be, you can't, yeah. Stop coming. Yeah, dude, don't You're get to, yeah. A you can push this coronavirus as fast as you can. I'm not touching <laughs> Anthony's feeling really cocky in his uh, immune system ability, so he just wants to challenge himself by getting a bunch of shit food to poison and damage his immune system. <laughs> what? And of course, everyone's got the rationalizations. Oh, it's pretzels. It won't do anything to my immune system. Do you just want to go in the dark web and order some Ebola? No, no, back off. Stop. You got anything for your immune system in that backpack, Anthony? <laughs> a lot of vitamins. Vitamin C. Home quarantine workouts right here. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you blue like that? Stop it. Stop it. Hey. Um, you go right there and I go right there. Where, where are we running? On circle. Just a little bit of zero fat oil. How's that this possible? oil has zero percent trans fat, zero percent saturated fat, or any other fat. It has a hundred grams of protein and fifty grams of carbs. So if yeah, this shit doesn't look cinematic, we're gonna have a problem. You're not gonna be sleeping, you're gonna be studying Tarantino films all night. Flash ready? Done. Try it. I think I undercooked them. They have salmonella. Try it. Try it? Yeah. That? Got, yeah. But I already ate a lot of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are the good pancakes with zero fat and 200 grams of protein. Are they undercooked? Yeah. Would you like to make a political statement regarding COVID-19? Would you like to make a personal opinion statement regarding COVID-19? Why is that? Because I choose to live from the one that doesn't have one. I want to see. I had a dream of a world so bright. A place where violence would never see the light. But then I opened my eyes. The dream 
fades away All the sadness and lies we see every day So I messed up, started recording that video right after I uploaded my last one, and it's probably been a week or two up to this point, and the footage is sitting on my computer, kind of have it half edited, but we're gonna continue now, and we have another special guest, Mr. Jeffrey Epstein, I mean Jeff Perry, Hello, over here, and um, Dave's about to get out bench, it's all right though. Jeff has been benching at home, he's got a bench in his basement, <laughs> and he's been on like this elite, like, uh, fucking Bulgarian powerlifting program just really priming the central nervous system. So we're gonna have a five by five pause off and we're gonna see, you know, who could push more, who could stay around in the game longer. I don't think that's fair. I haven't paused a single rep of bench in probably three months. You've been pausing every fucking session. You're too busy and not updating your operating system. What is this fucking Windows Vista? This is Windows 7. D window, that's Windows Vista, buddy. This no, is an old little logo button. All right. Windows 7 Home Premium, a man of class. Good for you. This beard is still, uh, she's still growing. I'm gonna have to uh, sharpen her up later. Hey, taking off today, pal? Yep. Is that what you do? Is that how you train for your show? You just take off? Listen, man, it's a rest day. It's a rest day? Yeah. Did Jeremy rest? Did Phil rest? Yeah. A lot of pro bodybuilders take two days off. Really? So I'm saying Jeff just to make him happy, but I think you should beat him. But I really hope Jeff does beat you, but I think you're gonna win. In reality, that's what that's how it's gonna happen. Man's been taking a lot of rest days. He's had a lot of time to really sit there, meditate on think on things, and come to accurate conclusions, such as I'm gonna win. Hey pal. How about you set the record straight and try instead of trying to fuck me over, okay? Listen, this man. kid's been benching every goddamn day. Uh, I haven't benched in six weeks. Let me see what else excuse. I have a little rash on my armpit, so uh, you know he ate more than me. Uh, what else? Listen, pal. I'm listening. I'm not hearing anything of value. So as Jeff sits here and updates his uh, little Windows Seven, I'm gonna do a few pull-ups, little lap pull. -ups. I'm gonna really prime them lats because. Oh, yeah, yeah, get ahead. Yeah, I am, I am, because because I do need it, because I haven't been benching that much, and that really primes you for bench. Not a lot of people know that. Things all oh, chest, triceps, front delt. No, your lats come into play heavily. Listen, ref. <laughs> I do. Where? Right there. <laughs>
genetics, fucking. How you feeling, Jeff? We're what, both? I'm three sets in, you're two sets in? Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm about to move this faster than your last set. Monthly installment He's gonna go out with a band